Uh, yeah, the first one, um, it was both, they're both on the same call, it's just a middle return. So on the first one, I had a little seam and I tried to get it to the outside and just kind of got ran out of bounds. But we knew that we were able to come back to that one again later in the game. So, I mean, that's what we did. We just came back to it uh, when we needed it. And the seam was there this time and I was able to get it outside and no one was there. So it just all worked out well. Isaiah, when, when you're finally cleared down that left side on your way to an end zone to kind of give you guys breathing room in what was a really kind of probably frustrating and, and difficult night, what was the feeling? I mean, it was just pretty much a feeling of relief because we just knew as a team that we felt like we could stop UCLA, UCLA's offense for the rest of the game. So we just knew if we can get one more touchdown or just a few more points that we could pretty much solidify the game. So that's just what we were looking to do. And I mean, we didn't expect it to happen on a punt return, but I mean, however you can get in the end zone, I mean, you're just happy with that. Kenneth, will you describe a little bit about what the effect of losing Jimmy Gilbert right away was? Uh, it was big, but as a team, we always talk about the next guy in has got to step up. Your role can change every single game. And if uh, you're one of those guys who's got to go in, you have to play to another level. you got to be be better than what Jimmy was. Uh, Kenneth, I think nothing or no better person comes to mind than Christian Shaver tonight. Um, he really stepped up, had some big oh. sacks. Um, what would you think of him filling in? He did a great job. Even NJ as well, they both did a great job of coming in and being able to play at a high level. Can let's just talk about the, the undiscipline you guys had tonight with all the uh, personal foul penalties and it's so uncharacteristic of you guys. Um, what was going on in the field and you know, why weren't you guys able to really calm down and, and kind of stop those things from happening? Uh, it's just not us. It's not how we play. I mean, you can see it. You've seen it in every game before, past, previous. Um, it's just, I don't know, it just happens. We just got to clean it up. As a follow-up to that, were they, it seemed like they were doing a lot of jawing. Were they trying to get under your skin a little bit? And were they kind of baiting you guys into that a little bit? I mean, everybody talks. Like, it's just how it goes. It's part of the game. And that's why I kind of what makes the game really competitive. But either way, it doesn't matter if they're talking or we're talking. We still got to tone it down. KO, uh, you've been here for a while. You guys get your seventh win, which means you're over 500. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, it means a decent amount. I, I just feel like as a team, we have one big goal, and that's what we want to reach. Isaiah, can you just talk a little bit about, I mean, Cheeto, he seems to make these kind of plays all the time, but yeah. just really seemed to have a knack for being there when you guys really needed him tonight. Uh, you know, blocks the field goal. Yeah. It's a big sack to stall a drive. You know, great coverage along with the rest of you guys. Mm -hmm. What can you say about him? I mean, that's just something that we've come to expect from Cheeto, uh, a guy that's been here for four years. He's a senior now. Um, he's done everything he possibly could do for this program, just making plays every single Saturday out there on the field. So, I mean, whenever you need it most, he's always going to be there to make that play. You can always count on him to, to be able to do that. So, For both of you guys, second game in a row that uh, your offense has really sputtered and you guys have had to come through defensively. Um, what does it mean for you guys to play the way you guys have defensively the last two games and, and to really lead this team to victories? Uh, Coach Levitt always talks about it. It's not a big deal. It's what we do. So that's just how we feel as a defense. Like, we can go out there and ball every single time we get a chance. Um, yeah, I mean, just like KO said, that's what we try to come out here and do um, every single time we step on the field is just to hold teams down, um, to not let them score. But, I mean, it goes both ways, basically. Uh, sometimes the offense is going to struggle, and they're not going to be able to put up points. We have to stop them. And sometimes we might struggle and give up a couple points, kind of like the Oregon game. You could just say the same thing like today. We gave up too many points, but the offense was able to score that many more points than them. So it just goes both, both ways, and uh, that's just what makes it a team. So. I mean, I can learn a lot, and I do learn a lot from them every single day we go out to practice. Uh, those are guys that have been able to mentor me and, and teach me the ways of how to play in the Pac-12 and as a corner and as a DB. So, I mean, I always look for them, look to them for advice. Just whenever I see something that I haven't seen before, I'll ask them, and they've already seen it before, you know, years back. So they're able to help me through it. So it's it's really good. As a, uh, throughout this season, as you guys have had success, the one unit that's been criticized all season is special teams. Yeah. Um, is it kind of fun to see the special teams come through and, and uh, play a big role in a victory this time? Yeah, most definitely, because it just gives us that much more confidence. And it's a, it's a phase of the game that we're going to have to have if we're going to really try to win a Pac-12 championship. Um, you have to have a great offense and a great defense, but you also have a great special teams to be able to win it all. So to have that coming along now uh, is going to be really good.
All right, thanks, guys. Bye-bye.